Russia's glide bombs give its air force new power in Ukraine, FAB-1500 is hell. Russia's air force has dramatically boosted its effectiveness in the Ukraine war with its increased use of glide bombs contributing to Moscow's recent battlefield successes, according to Western experts and according to the Washington Post. It is noted that the plentiful Soviet-era bombs, which carry up to half a ton of explosives, has been fitted with wings and guidance systems to fly long distances with some accuracy, allowing the Russian jets that release them to operate away from Ukrainian anti-aircraft systems. Along with Russian drones, missiles and artillery, the glide bombs have added new destructive firepower to Russia's campaign in eastern Ukraine, as seen in the recent conquest of the city of Avdiivka, Russia's first major victory in recent days. Earlier, CNN reported that Russia has begun using a powerful aerial bomb that has decimated Ukrainian defenses and tilted the balance on the front lines. It has done so by converting a basic Soviet-era weapon into a gliding bomb that can cause a crater 15 meters wide. The bomb is the FAB-1500, essentially a 1.5-ton weapon of which nearly half comprises high explosives. It is delivered from above by fighter jets from a distance of some 60 to 70 kilometers out of range of many Ukrainian air defenses. The FAB-1500 is another example of how Russia is fighting its war in Ukraine, inflicting massive destruction before trying to take territory. The FAB-1500 is directed towards its targets by a guidance system and pop-out wings that allow it to glide towards its target. One soldier from Ukraine's 46th Separate Air Mobile Brigade told CNN from the frontline town of Krasnohorivka in Donetsk, Previously, we were only shelled with artillery. Now the Russians have taken on the town more aggressively and started using Air Force assets, particularly the FAB-1500. Why are they using the FAB-1500? Because the damage done by it is very serious. If you survive, you are guaranteed to have a contusion. It puts a lot of pressure on soldiers' morale. The FAB-1500 is hell. NATO forces present in Ukraine is not unthinkable, Polish Foreign Minister. Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski didn't exclude the potential presence of NATO troops in Ukraine. The comments came after French President Emmanuel Macron recently said that sending Western troops to Ukraine cannot be ruled out in the future. The US and many European allies have distanced themselves from Macron's statement. The presence of NATO forces in Ukraine is not unthinkable, Sikorsky noted, saying he had appreciated Macron's initiative because it is about Russian President Vladimir Putin being afraid, not us being afraid of Putin. The Polish minister added, Sikorsky said Ukraine's allies had had to return to the original role of NATO, calling Russia a country that cannot live in peace with its neighbors and share their values despite the West's repeated encouragement. French Defense Minister Sébastien Lecornu said that while the deployment of combat troops was not currently being discussed, there was the possibility that Paris would send military personnel to Ukraine to train Ukrainian troops or participate in mine-clearing operations. Discussions about NATO boots on the ground in Ukraine need to end because nobody actually wants that to happen. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said. Pistorius argued that what the West needs to do instead is ramp up the delivery of ammunition and equipment to the Ukrainian military. Earlier, Canadian Defense Minister Bill Blair also said Ottawa was ready to send a limited number of military personnel to Ukraine, but in a clear non-combat role. During a two-hour State of the Nation address, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened tragic consequences if NATO troops were sent to Ukraine, claiming the West's support for Kyiv risks a conflict using nuclear weapons. Russia has repeatedly warned the US and its allies that deliveries of weapons to Ukraine will not prevent Moscow from achieving the goals of its military operation and will only serve to prolong the fighting and increase the risk of a direct confrontation with NATO. Thank you.